This is my first work for solo piano. The idea of writing for the instrument alone, in many ways, was a frightening one. Uh, it's so naked, and it's so raw, uh, and it's such a large instrument. It is orchestral to me, and so for me to tackle this meant I had to really negotiate your instrument into my language, into the things I was thinking pitch-wise, what I would do rhythmically, what I would do timbrally. And I found that these minuscule preparations that you and I had discussed was just what I needed for this to resonate for this piece. So the piece calls for a not unusual preparation, but a very specific preparation of the piano to create a very, very specific sound world. Um, I mean, it's not like things haven't been put in a piano before, but the way that Dave treats the instrument, especially the combination of muted pitches in the bass with these very specific reoccurring um, almost gong-like uh, notes in the upper register of the piano, combined with the spectacular use of the piano as a resonating instrument, creates this spectacular uh, sort of palette of color that you do not see in uh, in most piano music. Yeah, that's my favorite line. That one. Yeah. I was looking to prepare it in a sensitive way, in a way that perhaps might catch the listener off guard thinking, oh, is there something under that pitch? Is there something over it? And we were able to sculpt that together, I think, you know, finding the right mutes for the right strings. It's a percussive instrument that so much of the music is made upon the attack of the keys to the strings. And one of the things I love about the piano specifically is that there's so much music and so much harmony and so much counterpoint and space um, that happens in between attacks of the notes. We've had so much fun working together, whether it's playing on stage together or strategizing for a new piece uh, or discussing music in general. Um, this piece could only be for Connor, and it was something that I took great pleasure in. To have him react to it in the way that he has has been a remarkable learning tool for me. One of the things I was most happy about when I first got this score was how you embrace the sort of indeterminate factors that go into listening to the instrument as it's being performed, which is something that a lot of performers don't pay attention to and it's, a, it's something that a lot of composers don't explicitly um, write into their music. And I absolutely love that about this piece that every performance in a way is a little bit indeterminate because it requires different adjustments based on you know how long the instrument is or you know how short the instrument is or how much it rings how much it resonates how certain timbres mix with other timbres um, and I love being able to be kind of an active participant in the way that the, the piece sort of unfolds it was one of the, the, the best parts of exploring this piece.